at this point i just feel like i'm always dancing and i need to stop because i obviously can't dance and i'm like literally so embarrassing like who raised me Okay, let's make something clear. I was not digging in my nose. I was scratching it. So before y'all try to come for me in the comments, don't do me. Say, nigga, I don't wanna talk. Meet me at the bank, show me what you really bout. Niggas ain't real when the shit really count. That's why I keep my look at it now. Bitch, I don't got a cap. Hey, I keep it real than real. Fuck all the critics and fuck how they feel. I'm getting money, it is what it is. They wanna know how I did what I did. Don't worry about why I do what I do. Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing on this beautiful Wednesday? Um, my day has mostly been good. How was yours? Okay, and I'm not just asking because, like, I'm recording this video. I'm asking because I really want to know, like, how was everyone's day? My day was good to a certain extent, okay? Yeah, I was on Instagram, and I did a poll or, like, a question saying that I wanted to do a new section on my YouTube channel uh, basically about controversial topics like something that's going to be debatable something that's going to make people disagree with me I, I don't have a problem with disagreeing or like getting into a debate about topics that need to be talked about like I feel like there's a lot going on in society in our world today that's literally going over people's heads and I feel like I have a small audience right now but I do want to grow so what's the point of having a youtube channel and speaking to my few subscribers that i have now if i'm not using my voice for something good i've always i'm a big advocate advocate for a uh, positivity and change in the world uh if you follow me on twitter you might see that like i always share things about politics and stuff like that and on instagram i always post things about politics on my story so yeah um Basically, today this video, oh, the section for, the name of this section is going to be controversial, controversial Convos. I might change it, but right now that's what I'm thinking about calling this section. So, um, yeah, one of my nails popped off. <laughs> and I didn't pink this one because I messed it up. But this hand is cute, period. Book me the pink file on Instagram. So, recently, um, like, two days ago i seen something about this man he posted something on facebook i believe and he said something about his girlfriend who's a trans woman uh his girlfriend's name is faith and his name is reese and um he's been getting bullied because he's with a trans woman so there was a video of him um and he was basically being bullied like men were recording him saying oh what'd you say what'd you say like who you date and he's like he was like oh i fuck trannies and that's it i'm gonna keep he was like i'm gonna keep it a b i fuck trannies and they was like oh you sucking dick you sucking dick this and that uh, uh, uh. And i'm gonna put a clip of the video in this video so you guys can know like i'm not just saying this to say this <laughs> Keep it a B, you fuck what? You fuck what? Bro, bro, you do what? Fuck training, so what? That, that's thorough? Wait, that's not thorough? You sucking dick and all that. That's not thorough, sucking dick and all that. Yeah, he was being bullied 
And today, I'm seeing Rest in Peace Reese, Rest in Peace Reese. And I didn't know his name at first, but I seen it and I was like, wow, like they're literally bullying this man because who he loves, like who he wants to be with. So um, I'm seeing Rest in Peace Reese and I click on it and I see the same picture of the guy and I'm like, are you serious? Like, what? So I see something that his girlfriend posted and she was basically like how um, he had his demons, but I'm going to, I'm going to like, I'm going to make sure your story isn't going to die. Like I'm going to tell your story and this and that and it's sad because this man was literally bullied into killing himself because of someone he loves and it was by his own community okay so someone on twitter her name is ashley marie preston uh her at is ashley m preston and she said when a man is confident and secure enough to openly love a trans woman this is the bullying and harassment he gets when trans attractive men kill us, it's out of fear that this will happen to them if they are outed. Reese didn't kill his girlfriend, he killed himself instead. And people in the comments are saying, it hurts my heart that people are so cruel. Why does anyone care who consenting adults choose to love? Which is true. Like, if I was to end up dating a transgender man, why do you care? Like, Yes, he's not able to have children because he had his body parts change, but that's still a man. He's a trans man. A trans woman isn't able to carry children, but she's still a woman. And I just feel like the black community needs to stop picking and choosing when they want to say Black Lives Matter, when they want to protest up and down the streets. This was a black man and we literally failed him. He was only 20 years old. I'm 19. That that hurts so much to know that this man was killed because he can't freely love who he wants to love. And I know I may sound repetitive, but I need I need my viewers and my subscribers to literally get this through their skulls that this is not okay and I'm going to be an advocate for change and I'm going to keep this this section going and I'm going to try to drop at least one video a week on topics that people don't like to talk about it could be about it could be about the nba it could be about mass shootings it could be about college tuition students being in depth these are things we need to talk about and i don't mind collabing with students i i would literally get a group of students or a group of my friends to sit down and talk about this because it needs to be talked about i need to hear other opinions because this just this just a just this ain't it this ain't it at all this ain't it at all like i literally couldn't even sleep couldn't even take my nap because this is bothering me so much like and i feel like no one we're not saying enough enough isn't being said and i feel myself about to get angry because how could you say black lives matter when when khalif Rada was uh killed himself because of the 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 jail system or trayvon martin was shot well, you 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 could say Black Lives Matter when when it's a sh heterosexual man, but when it's not, you choose to turn your back and 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 turn the other cheek. I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, please help me make it make sense. Please make it make sense. That's that's all I ask. Like, and I I know it doesn't make sense, but. I don't know, I'm, I'm literally at a loss for words. I'm so, so upset that this man literally killed himself. And I know he was facing, like his girlfriend says, he was facing his demons. I don't know what exactly that means. I would have to do more research into it. But, like, he he could have had other things going on. But, yeah, it, it, really, it really bothered me. So, um, I hope that we can make some some kind of change i feel like black lives only matter when it's convenient for people and when i say that i mean like they didn't care about this man's life because they were literally bullying him saying oh he's sucking dick he fucking a man that's a man no he was with a woman a trans woman meaning yeah he was uh she wasn't born a woman but now she is a woman so why do you care so much about someone else's sex life someone else's relationship it's not making you lose sleep at night it's not stopping you from paying your bills why do you care oh exactly the reason why 
Reese was bullied and harassed and taunted into killing himself because one of religion, two of ignorance, because I feel like people who are firm believers in religion can be the biggest bullies sometimes. They feel like their God is so perfect. And I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. But I I know it's okay to make mistakes as long as you repent for your sins. But like I was saying, people are so fascinated with the my God this, my God that. And they want to bash you and, and dictate you for the decisions you make. God doesn't hate whoever your God is. You could be Muslim, Christian, whatever your religion is. Your God doesn't hate who these people decide to be with. He dislikes the way you treat them. We're supposed to treat people, treat each other as our equals. So why don't we? Why don't we? And it's it's really sad. It's ignorant of people to to literally sit there and bully someone and nine times out of ten it be people who are in the closet about who they're with who's so worried about who someone else is sleeping with like why does it i just can't put pieces together why it bothers someone so bad so there's a lot of people on twitter talking about some oh uh we need to protect uh trans women and the people they love and i agree with that 1000% like there's no reason why there's no reason why us as a community are bullying this man and harassing him and taunting him because of who he decides to be with that's his life he has a right to live the life he wants to live period period someone said same people who try to tear this man down the same one struggling to stay cool in their skin shaking my fucking head love is love no color, no gender, no nothing. We got to do better. This shit is not okay. It's start. It's not okay. It's starting with you, and that's for everybody to understand, just not some. So I retweeted and said, this is so disheartening. It's so sad what happened to him. The black community always finds a way to put their own people down. Black lives should always matter. In caps, always matter. Okay? Yes, he had his own demons, but bullying and taunting has pushed him to a point of no return. He cannot get his life back. How do you sleep at night knowing that your bullying literally took someone's life? He can't get his life back. At all. So now you gotta sleep with that. You decided to believe this man, now you gotta sleep with that. Now you gotta now you gotta live with that for the rest of your life. Like damn. I bully somebody so bad into killing themselves. You should be ashamed of yourself. On Instagram, my question thing is still up, so um, I'm open for more topics and things like that. I'm going to write everything down. I'm going to try to record as much as I can with this, with these controversial combos, okay? And we're going to get the ball rolling. I feel like I got a passion for change, so I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get into some things, okay? And I would really appreciate the support. Uh, and yeah. Rest in peace, Reese. Um... I will pray for you. I will pray for your girlfriend. I will pray for your family. Uh, you didn't deserve this at all. Um, yeah, I hope the people who are bullying you, I hope their karma come back to bite them in the ass. Period. Because what goes around comes around. And that's just that on that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at t.rose.underscore dot dot underscore follow me on twitter t underscore rose zero five add me on snapchat i'm not really on there that much but still add me on snapchat at nine dot rose two zero and yeah i will see you in the next video